So you played Skyrim. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you. You got got. You're gonna have to watch this video here to have the context for this video, but then... Let's look what else. This video's premise is incredibly simple. How many levels can I get without leaving Riverwood in Skyrim? Now we find out how far can we get without me wanting to die? <laughs> how many levels can you get without leaving Riverwood? If for some reason you refuse to watch the last video, last time on Dragon Ball Z, this is Monkey. Monkey wants to be the best. Like no one ever was. Monkey spent two hours of my time chopping wood for gold, and using said gold to level smithing and archery to prove it was possible to level up infinitely in Riverwood. Now, dance for us, monkey. Back to the present. I wanted a load of gold to work with, so I decided I'd leave the game on for four days in real time, chopping wood. I wish I was joking. Ugh. Okay. Alright. I have woken up. I feel tired. Now, let's see how much fun it would be. Oh my god. So for the record, I sort of just left my computer on at night and during the day. I think for approximately four days. Yeah, I just played games on top of this. My, my poor PC has had to deal with this. Worth it, I think, because that's a lot of firewood. Now I don't probably don't need to do that uh, anymore. I just need to find hog. Yes. That's right. 26,505 pieces of firewood. Rogue chicken, rogue Colonel Sanders. I am very happy that I saved. Just in case that was an accident. <laughs> Man, I gotta be careful swinging this sword. I ended up making Hod pay me exactly. <laughs> this is hard to say. I ended up making Hod pay me out exactly 132,925 gold pieces. Oh my god, I'm rich. He ended up having to take out five loans, sell a kidney, and his first poor child. Quality Tuesday, if you ask me, honestly. I started by buying some ingredients from a local pub. Yes, commenters, I finally used this glitch which you all wanted me to use. If for some reason you don't know this glitch, you can refresh the merchant's stock by quick saving, attacking the merchant, and then quick loading. I got some ingredients and started making potions for EXP. Fun fact, this was boring. And I didn't want to do this anymore. So I'll get back to that shortly. Spending a couple hours abusing the markets, I smelted about a hundred different things. Main thing to keep in mind is I got my smithing to 77. I also glitched into Delphine's secret room so I could use the enchanting table. Oh, right, we did it. To get into Delphine's room like this, all you really need to do is get a bucket, pot, silver platter, it doesn't really matter, something that you can glitch yourself into so you can phase through the wall. I suggest picking up another one so you can get out. However, I disenchanted all of my random items that I had bought up until this point, and I spent time abusing the market glitch to get more ingots for smelting. It was at this point that I had discovered a new way to duplicate items in Riverwood. See, it is well known that there is a glitch in Whiterun that you can drop items in a specific place, get your companion to pick up all the items one by one, then leave Whiterun and come back, and then all the items will still be there. So you could infinitely dupe items by getting your companion to pick all of those items up one by one. Once you pick up all of those items, they will stop duplicating. However, it was up until this point thought that this was the only place that you could do this. But that is wrong. You can do the same thing in Fendal's house. Fendal, Fend Fendal's house, Fen Fendal's house. Anyway, I'm gonna be honest, you could probably do this in any cell. I spent days in game duping ingots until I had enough, which was about four hours IRL. Afterwards, I started selling all the armors that I had crafted and I bought a bunch of enchanted items so I could disenchant them. However, I wasn't able to get the smithing enchantment and if you for some reason wanted to do this in a real game, I suggest getting getting said smithing enchantment because you can make all of your weapons one shot without having to enchant them and constantly refill them with soul gems. I realized if I didn't want to be constantly chopping wood for gold, I could instead abuse this merchant glitch. To explain how this glitch works, for those who don't know, you want to click your name and then hover over the merchant's name and hit E. Then everything should go weird, but now you can sell all of the merchant stuff back to them. So you can do this to max out your speechcraft. I abused said glitch to get my speechcraft maxed out. So trading would be cheaper and it would make getting ingredients to the restoration loop much easier. After which I duped a bunch of Daedra hearts and ebony ingots so I could craft some Daedric armor just like in the thumbnail. Hey, you made it to the middle point of the video. Why don't you like the video, sub and hit the bell and maybe leave a comment. You can always undo all of that later. I really wouldn't mind. I grabbed the ingredients necessary for the restoration loop and then I duped said ingredients. The restoration loop is one of the most 
most documented and broken glitches in Skyrim. Though, if for some reason you don't know how to do it, you just need the ingredients for a Fortify Restoration Potion and a Fortify Enchanting Potion. The Alchemy Boosting Enchantments and the Smithing Boosting Enchantments, that last one being optional. I personally wasn't able to get that last one, even after days of attempting to do so and refreshing stock constantly. The ingredients for the Restoration Potion and Enchanting Potion go as follows. Albacian Longfin, Cyrodiilic Spade Tail, Hackle Low Leaf, Pygmy Sunfish, Salt Pile, Small Antlers, Small Pearl, and a Yellow Mountain Flower for the Restoration Potion. Ancestor Mothwing, Blue Butterfly Wing, Curious Hunter Antenna, Drawax, Hag Ravenclaw, Snowberries, Spawn Ash, Sprig and Sap, Stoneflower Petals for the Enchanting Potion. I apologize for probably brutalizing all of that pronunciation. You can easily get these via the motion glitch on any ingredient seller then duping the ones that you need from the glitches I have listed above. Once you have these, wear the alchemy items you've enchanted or found. Create a fortified restoration potion, take off the equipment, take the potion, re-equip the items that are now stronger. Create another potion, rinse repeat until you have a crazy number once you have reached, I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter as long as it's past 10,000. Create another potion just in case you want to redo this loop a little faster, and then create a fortify enchanting potion. Take the potion right before you want to enchant anything you want. I personally suggest an item that boosts your alchemy ability first. Do this a bunch of times until you have a set of at least 100% better alchemy on all the items that you could possibly equip. Five or more being the best outcome. Then rinse repeat this entire loop again to create whatever types of potions and enchantments you want with ludicrous numbers. Boots that can make you unable to be detected while sneaking, you can make lockpicking 100% easier, a piece of armor that gives you literally a billion HP and stamina, or is that more numerically? Whatever, we've all destroyed the English language so far, so it doesn't matter. If you have Fortify Smithing, use this to upgrade your weapon so they now always do a billion damage per hit without any enchantments. And lastly, create a bunch of Fortify Restoration Potions for this next step. See, I wanted to make a potion that was perfect. At least a potion that's value is so high, all I have to do is abuse the market glitch. Just sell this potion over and over again for instant 100 speechcraft EXP. See, this is the easiest way to level up in Skyrim. All you do is sell this potion, get all the XP you need to 100 speechcraft, legendary it, get it back into it, sell it again, and just keep legendarying speechcraft. It's that simple. Every single time you do this, you're going to get a bunch of levels. After I smashed out the restoration loop until I had the perfect potion, I started selling this thing over and over and over again. Now, this is the fastest way to get levels in Skyrim, and after five long days between work and the gym, honestly, it was probably more than five days now looking back on it, I made it to exactly level a thousand. I definitely didn't lose some footage of the exact number of legendaries I made it to, and I definitely can't go back and get it now. I forgot to record it, I'm sorry, and I don't have cloud saves on. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> But I do have some footage of when I was around level 100, all you really have to do is time this by 5 days and you'll probably have the exact number that I'm at. But this is time to show off how strong this build really is. Well, it looks like the fabric of reality has broken down from our unreasonable amount of power. I wonder where this portal will lead. Huh. I don't know. But it sounds like autism. Let's go.